You said, welcome to Mexico. Thank you. When we speak about your novel, we think about its reality or it's based on something real or it's just part of your imagination. Uh, it's not a real story, but it's based on a real uh, situation, on reality we all know uh, of what goes on between us and the Palestinians in uh, Israel. Um, but the story is a uh, fruit of my imagination, but it's, it's based uh, also, uh, among other things, uh, of my work as a lawyer and also as an officer in, uh, in the Israeli army, on the IDF, in which I spent uh, six years. Yeah. Like an officer. Tell me something. Mm. You're talking about being an officer on the Israeli army. When you write your book and you start to read it, you find some tips from a writer, from Daphne. And one of the first things she said is, you have to believe, you have to have to be in the story of each of your characters. Yeah. Were you really in each character on your book? Yes, always. That's the way I write. If I'm uh, not into the characters, I don't start to write it. And if I start, I delete it and start something new. And um, most of all, I mean the character of the protagonist here, who has no name because I wrote it about myself. As easy for it was myself. It's not me, but I entered his, into his character. And when you go inside this character, he's a spy in the army, he has to do a very important job to find a very dangerous uh, terrorist. What's what you're thinking about it? And more of it when you live in Israel, and for some of us it's like a police uh, story like you see in TV, but for you it's also life. Yeah, it's life, and uh, I wanted to put something who is in the front of our problems with the, with our neighbors. Not to div give, because you, you can live in Israel and not um, feel the, the conflict very much in every day. Even though nowadays when you have the rockets from Gaza every day, everybody feels it. But um, you can live in Israel quite peacefully, but I wanted somebody who will be in the heart of the problems and do the dirty job, which is an essential job, to be in the Shabak, in the uh, internal security uh, service, so as to deal to interrogate the suspects uh, uh, in terror, and to prevent it, and put him in a situation of conflict, of inner conflict, of conflict with his feelings, uh, with his relationship with other people, and see what's going on with him. When you started to write your book, and it was published, it was some years ago, that it, yeah. has already, it was already a, a problem with Gaza, a problem with the Palestinians. It came out the book, it had success in other parts. Now it's coming to Mexico five years ago. And it becomes that it's like right today. Yeah, unfortunately, no, nothing changes. Maybe goes to the worst. Because, you know, there was, sometimes there was hope for a solution. If you talk about uh, the Oslo Accords, Rabin's government's uh, time, and of course it all collapsed. Uh, and now the, it seems like a dead end, you know, just shooting at each other and the, the situation on this sense is terrible. When you went inside the, the character of the poet of Gaza, yeah. the, the Arab people that is writing, how did you feel about him? He, his son is a terrorist, he is writing in Israel, he lives in Israel, he has Jewish friends. How did you encourage that? Uh, he is based, based on uh, characters uh, I knew as a boy. Uh, Arab uh, intellectuals, Palestinian intellectuals, were in inter interaction with Israelis on those days. On those days you could still, as a person from Gaza, many of them came to work in Israel. Very simple jobs, but among others also intellectuals ca came from over there, artists, and there was some conversation. Uh, what happens nowadays that it doesn't exist anymore. Nobody goes to uh, Gaza from Israel, of course, because he will be killed immediately. Nobody from Gaza comes to, uh, uh, to Israel, and uh, so there is complete dis disconnection. Now, this, this man is an example of things that passed. Now that with Hamas, it's another story. Nobody from Hamas wants to talk with you about intellectual things. There's no real basis for renegotiation right now. 
unfortunately, they don't want us there, so it's a different story. Do you think that things that happen in your book could lead, if they could be a reality, it could lead to a peace in that area? Because you have people sitting on the same table, talking, dis discussing about political and other things, they are talking instead of fighting. That's what should happen. When two parties understand that nobody is going away, we're not going away, of course. We're not going to the sea, we're not going back to Europe, we're not going back anywhere, and they're not going away. If you want it or don't want it, that's the situation. And we have to uh, see how we live together. Talk about borders, talk, talk about security, talk about economy, etc., etc. Like grown-ups, start shooting and start talking. But it's, it's very difficult. Exactly. More difficult is when you speak about somebody that works in the security area in Israel and that's a mission that is to kill or, or capture yeah. a, a very dangerous uh, terrorist and suddenly we discover that these people, they have also feelings. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I want to portray him as a complete human being, not just as a person who uses violence all the time or is one-sided or a simple person, I could be this person, you know. In another life or in another situation, I could work uh, the same job, uh, which is very important. So I wanted to show him as a complete person. And I can tell you, people who really work in this organization told me I portrayed them very fairly, and they were very interested to read it. And that's nice. Because now when we, when we think about Israel, many people think about Israel, or think about uh, Palestinians, we have very close uh, life. We think about Palestinians, all of them, they are terrorists. And when we think about Israel, all of them, they, they are in a, in a war. And that's not true. They are both of sizes, they are uh, human people. That's something that you try to put of in course, the Of course, of that's, course, that's basic, but it's not basic to everybody. To, Anywhere you can find good people and bad people and in between. And uh, uh, when we start talking like human beings as equals, then things will be different. About your title of your book, many people thought about that they are calling you the, po the Gaza poet. Not the, yeah. the, the title of the book, they, they think you are a poet, a Gaza poet. Yeah, no, I'm the, the Tel Aviv poet. I'm not a poet. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. Do you don't think this could be, this book, yeah. what do you think it would be now in this moment that we have Gaza and Gaza is in the voice of everybody yeah. and everybody thinks about it? I don't know, I just write books, you know, I'm not interested, I have no political ambition in writing a book. And I don't, when I write it, I don't think I will be perceived politically in different parts of the world. That's none of my business, you know, it's uh, I, a... And you know that everything said and everything uh, right, it can be like everybody says, use against you or use in favor of you. When you are right, but when I write in the evenings, after I work as a lawyer in the daytime, in my day job, I try to kill the, poet, the, the lawyer in, in myself. Because if you write like a lawyer, you are going nowhere as a writer, you know. It's, uh, it's quite the opposite. And you're right, if you, start, if you start to censor yourself, because who will say what about what you're writing, you will not be able to write anything uh, worthwhile. How has been this book taken all around the world? Tell us, because there are countries that they are, that will say, no, this is not true, this is it. What is the people thinking about your book? Because maybe they, some of them, they, like us, we started asking you, they don't really believe it's just a novel. It's part of the reality. How is it being taken? The book was translated to nine languages, among them Chinese and uh, other, uh, of course, European languages. Um, and in every country it's different. In some countries they perceive it as literature and judge it by uh, literary uh, terms. Uh, in some parts they take the, you know, the sensational uh, value of it. Uh, for example, a few months after it was published in Europe, there was the assassination of a Hamas uh, operative uh, called uh, Mabchuch in the Gulf uh, uh, countries. 
And then, I think it was in Germany, I got a course from journalists. How did you do to describe the exact way they assassinated El Mabchuk? I told them, frankly, I had no idea, I had no connection to it. It's not me who shot him. Have, no, I don't. So, uh, yeah, so uh, that was funny. Because it's really, because in your book it's a novel, but it's, that, that, that it's important. It, it won a prize in France. Yes. About it. It won a, a prize for France for, lit, for um, what they call Roman Noir, like detective stories. Exactly. Uh, it was very successful in France, yes. Do you think your book will be taken some time ago, sometime like this, uh, this case, like a book of novel, like a police novel, or it will be taken like history or something? A good question. I have no idea. Every writer's ambition is that the book will last, you know, for many years. But you can never know. Uh, you can never know. That's the real test for the quality of a book. If it lasts for uh, many years or it, uh, in some time it gets lost and uh, that's it. I hope, I, want to, I, want, I, I don't want to, be, to sound bad, but I hope your book will be remembered okay. like a very good novel, like a very good uh, history that everybody will sound like. That could be really happen instead of remembering that it, has a, uh, that it was a fight between Gaza and Israel. Yeah. Now, you are a representative of Israel and many other countries. Is somebody from Arab covering your book and have told you something about it? No, actually I wanted very much it to be translated to Arabic. Uh, I didn't find a translator of it, I didn't find a publisher for it. So maybe you find it's somebody uh, that wanted to publish it. No, no, I didn't find a publisher in Arab states for it. So that's part of the problem. They're not really interested in what's going on within ourselves and to different voices. I presume they see, it as, they see us as one body, which is, you know, it's of course not the truth. I know you don't want to talk about politics, you don't like to be that, but now it's Israel, it's in the middle of the eye of everything.